Welcome to Holton's Fix It 101. Now today we're not going to do a, we're not going to do a review. It's more like a warning to some people. In front of me, I have the Rutland's router lift, which is a little bit disappointing. Welcome back. Now, in front of me, I have the Rutland's router lift system, and I bought this uh, to go into my router table, as you see behind me. Now, if you haven't seen the video for that, I'll post a link up here so you can go ahead and watch that. But this was a bit of a disappointment when I got it. Um, it did cost a little bit of money, but uh, it was very, very disappointing. Some of the build quality of it was a bit questionable. Now, wherever Rutland's got this from, I would not hesitate. But um, it's not a very good one. Or whether I just got a bad, bad one in a batch. I, it was, it's, that's going to suddenly you know, here or there. First off, it was this mechanism here, which is supposed to go on, attach onto the back of, this is the router lift by the way, and this is supposed to go actually into the back of here, um, so it connects, um, uh, goes on that way, so, so that the actual handle will be in the side of your router table, I explain over here at my router table, the handle will go in the side here. So instead of having the handle on the top, you would have one in the side here. That's all very well, but the handle here, which is here, kept on hitting my fence. It was slightly sticking out. So if, you're, so if your fence is actually slightly sticking out, then you do have trouble, like mine is there. Um, but there were several problems actually with this mechanism. It has um, some grub screws in the end of here. I'll get you a better picture of that up there. I'll get you a better picture of that. And the grub screws that were in there were so small and everything else that they only went in for like a couple of threads. So I had to replace those grub screws with some normal screws of my own because this handle that's that's here goes in the end of here like that so it is extended so you have two parts to this part and that wasn't the only problem that when when I first actually got this um, when I'll try to explain this to you I'll bring it up a bit closer in a second but that that there attaches onto the router plate there and what was happening was that this was all up at an angle. I know I got a bit exaggerated there, but as soon as you try to get it down to the right angle, these two cogs, there's two cogs on the back here. I'll post another picture of that up here. But the two cogs on here wasn't in plane with one another, and they were grinding against one another. So that was another problem that I had to sort out. Now, when you buy one of these, you expect it to work out of the box. You don't expect it to, to take the whole thing to pieces to actually make this work. And it is, you know, and that's what I had to do. I had to literally take the whole of this all apart. So I wasn't very, very pleased with that at all in the way that that actually worked. And 
you know, it was, the problem was that I was trying to use it one day, and I came to you over here to on a, like, I was using it on my router table, and it actually ground to a, a halt. I could not move the handle on the end. It, there were so many problems with trying to get this, and it was getting stiffer and stiffer and stiffer. I just couldn't use it in the end. And that is why you'll see in the other video that I have the new Jessen one. And honest to God, that is absolutely night and day up against this old, this, this new system that I got from um, Rutland's. So as you can tell, I'm not that pleased with it. But that wasn't my biggest problem. My biggest problem was, was with the motor. Now, the motor itself, good motor, you know, 2400 watts. And it's got it all stamped on the back there, an output of 1800 watts. So that's 2400 watts going in, and 18, um, 1800 watts of mechanical power actually coming out of it. Uses exactly the same type of motor that I actually got from AO, AUK tools on the back of or on the bottom of there now same type of motor and everything no difference but the AUK tools is so much better than this one it's like that's that's the premium item this is comes from the second spin you know what I mean but the problem was that it was the um, motor um, was going up and down through his rev range and it wasn't through me changing it on the on the uh, dial on here it was just doing it all on its own it went as going up and down through the rev range I'll be going along that through it with a piece of wood and all of a sudden it will drop in in the RPMs for no reason whatsoever I'll take the bit of wood away and in it and it wasn't because I was using uh, I, was, I had it going too deep or anything like that. It was none of that. It was because, you know, the motor was doing it all on his own. I took the piece of wood away and the motor was still going up and down through the, and it was only on his own revs, you know, it was, it was, so I was not pleased with it. So with that, I changed over and I got the AUK tools, uh, mount rotor motor. And I've got the Jessam router plate with lift all built into it. And it, that's complete night and day to what this is. Now, I'm not saying that this, you know, everyone that came from uh, Rutland's was, is, is, has this problems or anything like that. I dare say that and they sell some really, really good tools. I'm not taking that away from Rutland's at all. It's just that this particular one was uh, well, in my, my opinion, wasn't up to standard. And, you know, if, if other people have the same problem, please comment down below because this is just not on for me, I'm afraid. So there's a little bit of a rant. I do, do apologise, and I apologise for my attire. It's really cold in this workshop today. But... Uh, I will see you on the next one, and uh, if you want to contact me on the usual social media channels, they all come across here. They're just over there, and uh, all, I've, I have all of them there, you know, the Facebooks and everything else. And uh, please comment down below, and uh, click on that uh, like button, and the subscribe button's there as well. So um, I will see you next time, and bye-bye. Uh,